Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're looking at these false eyelashes. These are the Ardell 110 Black and they are the natural lashes. They are apparently lightweight, reusable, easy to apply, and give a natural look. I'm gonna use them today with my Duo Waterproof Lash Glue. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit onto the bottom of this mostly empty, well, pretty much completely empty foundation jar. And I'm gonna be using this eyelash picking up tool that I got from a set of Kiss eyelashes. as well as my tweezer men tweezers for adjusting exactly where my eyelashes will sit. So first I'm gonna pick them up. Then I'm gonna remove this small strip of glue that adheres them to the packaging. So it's just like this tiny little piece of glue. It takes a couple minutes to do this, but it, I think it's worth it. After that, I'm going to run them through the glue, making sure I have a lot of glue on the edges, so maybe an extra dip if needed. Then it's super important that you wait like 30 seconds, count to 30, before you stick them on your eyes. Once you've got them set, then you can adjust them using your tweezers or the pushy tool on the eyelash tool, or just with your fingers, whatever works for you. If they are not stained, it's probably because the lash glue did not actually have a chance to get tacky enough, so don't panic. If you need to, take them off, start over, and give it another go. So here's a look at what my eyes look with natural lashes and false lashes. And you can see it's not giving me a ton of extra length. The main effect you get with these lashes is it just makes them fuller. So there's no like big gaps between your natural lashes. If you like, you can go over the glue. Mine, my glue is still wet, so I'm brushing it a little bit here. But you can go over with some more black liner to make them really nice and black and no white glue dots. The strip on these ones are very thin, very easy to manipulate, and they are clear, so if you don't want to use a thick lined eyeliner, you can use them and still get a very natural and nice looking look. I'm going to a wedding today, which is why I am putting these lashes on with this nice glamorous eyeliner. And I think for all my future lash reviews, I will probably do a similar liner just so you can consistently get a good feel of what they look like with some more like formal looking eye makeup. So once again, I'm waiting for 30 seconds before applying them to my other eye and then adjusting them into position with either the pusher tool like you can see I'm doing here the tweezers, or again, your fingers. And here you go, another look at these lashes. Now, these lashes, I got them in a multi-pack. I think there were about five or six in a pack, and I got them at Sally Beauty Supply probably for between like 11 and $15. Again, I'm gonna just make sure the blunt the band kind of blends in with my eyeliner by going over with it a little bit more eyeliner. And then here you go, the final look. Because I am going to a wedding, I'm gonna apply a coat of mascara, which I don't normally do, but since it's super fancy, why not? This will just add a little bit more volume and maybe blend my lashes in together. I'm also gonna add a little bit of mascara to my bottom lashes as well. All right, and here's the final look. So we can have a close up with the false lashes on. And with the glasses on, they look great. Some people mention that um, your false eyelashes might rub your glasses, but I find I don't have that problem, especially with this pair of lashes. I'll show you a side profile here in a second. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you wanna see more from me, please subscribe down below. I do a new beauty video every single day of the week. If you found, if you found this video helpful, please give me a th thumbs up and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.